To sign or don't sign, that is the question for franchise tag players like Allen Robinson in Chicago. The Bears wide receiver, one of seven players to be given the designation back in March, the deadline to sign a franchise tag player to a multi-year contract, 4 p.m. Eastern later today. And if it expires, the player must play out the season on that tag. And to break this all down and key in on, on a few of the guys, we're going to go in on the big deal or franchise tag scenario here with our insider Jonathan Jones. So let's talk about Allen Robinson first to give us the latest on what that situation looks like in Chicago. Not great, Tommy, uh, in terms of if Allen Robinson is going to get a long term deal in Chicago. We have known for some time that he wants a long term deal. Chicago Bears have been showing Allen Robinson that they don't want to give him a long term deal, at least the long term deal that he is seeking. So I texted with a source in Chicago yesterday who told me, quote, highly doubt it when I asked if a long term deal would be reached by the 4 p.m. Eastern deadline uh, later today. So Allen Robinson does not want to play on the franchise tag, has been trying for the better part of a year to get a long term deal and secure his future there in Chicago. And when you look at what he has been for the Bears, it's hard to argue that he isn't worth whatever he sort of says that he is. He should be paid like a top five or six wide receiver in the NFL when you look at his production over the past two seasons and how, as he has been the most consistent offensive player playing with subpar quarterbacks. So uh, it's unfortunate for Allen Robinson, but there will not be a deal reached between Allen Robinson and the Bears later today. He's had nice production, been a big fantasy guy for those players in CBS Sports and the app there. Chris Godwin had that a couple years ago. Last year, a little bit of injuries right now. What more can you tell us in Tampa Bay with Godwin there? Yeah, there was a little bit of optimism earlier in the week that maybe a deal, a long-term deal could get done between Chris Godwin and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but it certainly seems that by the deadline, Chris Godwin will remain a franchise tagged player making around $16 million in the 2021 season. This doesn't come as a huge surprise. I spoke with someone in Tampa who said, hey, we did this last year with Shaq Barrett. Is it ideal? No, not necessarily. You always want to lock up your key contributors and your core guys. And I've been told the 25-year-old wide receiver is one of the most beloved guys in that locker room, how he toughed out last season through so many different injuries and how he is one of the best route technicians in all of the NFL, one of Tom Brady's most trusted wide receivers. But ultimately, it does not appear that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers can get a long-term deal done with Chris Godwin by the deadline uh, here at 4 p.m. Eastern. Instead, what it does appear is that the Bucs are going to put everything they can into signing Godwin to a long-term deal next offseason if all goes well, just like they did Shaq Barrett. It's been amazing. Jason Light and company bringing everybody back to try to get this uh, second title in as many seasons. So this group of franchise tag players, a lot of receivers, a lot of safeties and offensive linemen. Let's focus on Panthers tackle Taylor Moulton. What more can you tell us there? Yeah, if of the seven guys who uh, have received the franchise tag who have not yet signed long-term deals, Taylor Moten probably has the best chance, but it is a small chance. I spoke with someone in Carolina who said, we have an outside chance at getting a deal done for Taylor Moten. Now, they probably felt a lot better about getting a long-term deal done with Taylor Moten a couple of weeks ago before Saints right tackle Ryan Ramchek reset the right tackle market by signing a deal that averaged $19.2 million. And so that's sort of what's complicating matters now that the ceiling has been raised a bit for Taylor Moten. I do not anticipate this deal getting done. The only other deal that I could see potentially getting done out of these seven, Marcus Williams, the safety with the New Orleans Saints, they tagged him at a low number of $10.5 million uh, in terms of what we're talking about, low relative, of course. But if, if you tag the safety, why don't you sign him to a long-term deal, especially since it caused the Saints to have to release Janoris Jenkins, their second cornerback in the offseason. So I could see that just based on common sense. But again, all seven of these guys unlikely to be tagged by the 4 p.m. Eastern deadline today. All right, we'll be keeping tabs till 4 p.m. Eastern, but don't expect a lot of action happening. Our thanks to Jonathan Jones here, our senior NFL reporter and insider here on CBS Sports HQ. One more note there, of course, the guys that did sign the one-year tags. Maybe a, a trade, although unlikely there. Pick 6 pod, Will Brinson, your daily NFL fix, and the guys in the Super Friends download and follow today.
Want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.